A pleasant day to all of you. Before I start my presentation, allow me to tell you a story. This is a story about someone I know, and let us name her Samantha. Samantha is known for her excellent academic and extracurricular performance. She excels at most of what she is doing. In everything she does, she tries her best to make the output as perfect as she can, until the pandemic comes. Starting from her physical interaction with her friends, classmates, teachers, and teammates, all the way through the transition of face-to-face -face classes to online classes, everything became difficult for her. The pressures, the loneliness, the workloads, and the status of her well-being are getting worse. She cries and shouts a lot every night, getting nervous about waking up again and doing the same thing over and over again. She tried to talk to someone she knows about it, but she thinks that it did not help her. Until, she tried to talk to someone professional, like a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Slowly, she can cope right now. She is not easily scared and nervous over everything. She can control herself, especially her emotions right now. And she is doing her best without pressuring herself to be perfect. But how does this story relevant to our study? Our study is opted to help students like Samantha who is having hardships to overcome all the problems she is facing from school to own personal problems with the help of one of the most important facilities in a school institution, and that is the Guidance and Testing Center. I am Salvia in Austria, along with my co-presenter, Mr. Marvin Gregorio, and we are BSIT students from the College of Computer Studies in Columban College, Incorporated. Columban College is located at 1 First Street, New Asinan, Olongapu City, near Magsaysay Avenue, the gateway to the famous Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic that causes a widespread breakdown globally, more problems have been formed since the sudden shutdown of schools, businesses, and facilities. Permanent closure of businesses because of bankruptcy causes employees to lose their jobs. Some jobs also require the employees to work from home. Schools like Columban College Incorporated were forced to do online classes that causes students and teachers to struggle because of the circumstances outside of their control. Studying from home is far from studying at school. Humans are made of to communicate with one another and having no physical communication is a difficult setting for both sides. The situation of the students led us to develop our study entitled Voices, a voice out student helpline management system for guidance and testing center of Columban College Incorporated to address the problems and difficulties of the students facing in these times of COVID-19 pandemic. Several problems that we encounter are Students are having difficulty in raising their concerns and trust issues. There's also the absence of immediate feedback to the concerns of the students. Since currently, there is no proper communication channel between the students and the GC staff as mentioned by the guidance counselor during the interview, the security and confidentiality of students' information are compromised. In addition, concerns relayed by the students to the guidance office are not well organized and categorized. And lastly, there is an inconvenience in getting an appointment to the Guidance and Testing Center. But, despite of the problems that arise due to COVID-19 pandemic, there are also opportunities present in order to provide solutions to these problems. The pandemic causes parents, students, invest on gadgets. The admin, staff, and faculty members were compelled to learn and use technology in order to continue providing services to the people and there is a widespread availability of Wi-Fi connection to the establishments. As a result of our interview to the OIC, GTC head, the system voices requires the following. Proper communication channel between the students and the guidance and testing center. For security, there must be a precise identification of students. The system must provide an easy setting up of appointment to the GTC and a notification specially for urgent concerns. Columban College is a Catholic institution in the city of Olongapo, province of Zambales. Several programs under the basic education, secondary education, 
K-12 programs, and college programs are being offered by the said institution. The institution is equipped with all the necessary facilities to meet the needs of all students in their academic careers. One of the facilities that offers its service is the Guidance and Testing Center that aims to assist students and professionals to be mentally balanced, well-adjusted, self-directed, efficient, responsible, God-fearing, and environment-caring individuals with human development skills to cope with intrapersonal and interpersonal concerns in life. The city of Olongapo is a highly urbanized city in the Central Luzon region. Though known as highly urbanized city, it still needs facility for patients experiencing problems that already affects their personal well-being. Psychology and psychiatric clinics are so rare to find in the city that is why a school's guidance center is important and must deliver its purpose to the people of Olongapo, particularly the students of Columban College. Safe Helpline 2017 stated that the online helpline works like other instant messaging and online chat systems, but with enhanced security measures. And according to Thompson, the nature of individual counseling services focuses on problems and provides problem solutions to achieve change in actions. All these contribute to the formulation of the objectives of the system and that is to design and develop a system that gives the student a convenient option to express their school-related concerns and personal issues through a web-based approach. Provides the guidance and testing center a better and improved way of delivering their services to the students. Facilitates proper communication channel keeping the confidentiality of information and sets up a better appointment scheduling. The study has the following variables for input. The statement of the problem, opportunity, the user requirements, the literature review, and related system. All these variables are processed through the method of research called descriptive developmental research and uses the SDLC, the waterfall model. The expected outcome of these variables is the system VOSHES, which has the following benefits. Improve and accessible means to reach the services of GTC, easier way to get an appointment, secured and user-friendly delivery of counseling services, and convenience to both the students and GTC staff. The system VOSHES used the software development lifecycle, the waterfall model, that comprises of different phases such as project planning, requirement gathering, system design, coding, and lastly, system testing. Under the project planning phase, the researchers discuss the selected proposal to its respondents and they include functions and features that will be present in the system. Through the requirement gathering phase, the researchers were able to acquire the necessary requirements from the guidance and testing center in a form of a formal letter and interview and disseminate questionnaires to the students. The creation of the system layout, workflow, and visualization and the database management through Adobe Photoshop fall under the phase of system design. The development of the system was done through the use of HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, Suite Alert for the front-end development, and PHP and MySQL for the back-end development. The GTC and the students along with the developers tested the whole system from login module to logout module based on their roles to determine the bugs present in the system and the use of the ISO 9126 to evaluate the quality of software as part of the system testing phase. Allow me to introduce to you my co-presenter, Mr. Marvin Gregorio, in order to fully discuss the results and discussion, conclusions of our system, VOSHES. We have included here a short video clip of our developed system to give you an overview on how our system functions.
the following are the results and discussions of our study. Through the use of this web-based approach, the Guidance and Testing Center of the Columban College, or the GTC, will be able to, to conveniently cater the needs of the students in, in expressing their school-related concerns and personal issues. As illustrated in the figure 1 below, a student can voice out his concern by posting a message comfortably which will be received only by the designated GTC staff and can be acted upon quickly, especially if it is an urgent case. And in this next figure, it displays the UI on how the student will pose his or her concern. This project provided a user-friendly interface, a secure database, and a systematic flow of information which can contribute for the improvement and better service delivery by the GTC. And in this figure, we can actually see how comfortable the users in opening up their concerns, suggestions, and problems to the use of this system. In figure 4 to, to figure 4.1 is the UI on how the GTC will handle the concerns of students. One of the major concerns of students why they prefer not to go to the guidance office is due to the trust issue. The fear that the information he or she will be sharing to the counselor will leak and that his concern will not be acted upon accordingly. Through the proper communication channel provided in the system, the student will have the confidence to air his concern. The appropriate GTC staff will be designated to handle the concern of the student with, of course, the supervision of the head guidance counselor. In figure 5, it display on how satisfied the user, on how quickly his or her concerns has been addressed. And figure 6 display the satisfaction of the user on the security of the system. Figure 7 to Figure 7.2 display the UI on how the interactions of those different users will be handled by the system and displays the UI for such functionality of the system. Through the inclusion of appointment scheduling and calendar, the student can see the availability of the GTC staff and can select a desired schedule. In this way, the GTC can also conveniently get in touch with the student. Figure 8 display the satisfaction of the user with the system's ease of use. And figure 8.1 display the reasons why students are hesitant or doesn't even visit the guidance testing center counseling office. This also further answers the number one reason why the student don't go to the GTC due to the conflict in schedule. Figure 9 and figure 10 display the process of the appointment and figure 10 display the organized section for the list of appointment schedule. Based from the data gathered and system evaluation, we have concluded that 
through this system, the student can voice out their concerns conveniently and comfortably, thus reducing the risk of a more serious problem like mental health issue. The guidance and testing center can have an improved and better delivery of services to the students, thus gaining their trust as well. With proper communication channel, security and confidentiality of the information will be securely kept. And lastly, there will be an efficient way of setting up an appointment and a two-way communication is ensured. Now let's hear from my co-presenter, Ms. Saudi Austria, for the recommendation and impact outcomes of the study. The following are the recommendations for the improvement of the system. Develop a mobile application that supports mobile devices for much easier access to every user. Provide an in-app video calls between the guidance counselor and the students. Provide a chatbot services that will assist the communication between the students and the GTC. The impact outcomes of the study are the following. Gain the trust of students to visit and undergo guidance counseling. Minimize fear, shame, and humiliation among students when visiting the GTC. Improve performance of the GTC as well as the students. And improve students' perspective towards the school management, instructors, and mental health being. Let's hear from Mr. Marvin Gregorio for our closing statement. For the young who will someday replace their predecessor, according to the officer in charge of the guidance and testing center, counseling in other countries are highly sought for, unlike in the Philippines, where people are ingrained with the ideas that counseling services are meant for, for the troublemakers and the weak. The longer we keep everything to ourselves, the worse the damage becomes, where judgment and health will suffer from the stress that has built up. Keep in mind that you are not alone. You are bosses. Ang iyong bosses kapag ikaw ay nalulungkot. Be heard by the people you trust. Let bosses be your voice.